Those layoffs do not have anything to do with another decision affecting Creighton University Medical Center. The state denies the hospital's trauma center application. We broke the story last night, and now we have the fallout. A decision by the Omaha Fire Department, a response from the hospital president, and how Nebraska Medicine's trauma center plans to handle more patients. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett joins us live. Randy, you can't really plan for a medical emergency. That's why the first responders who get you from an accident or a house fire have to plan where to take you in the event of trauma. And up until Tuesday, that was one of two Omaha hospitals, but tomorrow, it's just one. Our protocol is very clear, and our protocol says we will transport uh, trauma patients to a trauma center. In Omaha, for the time being, that means Nebraska Medicine, the only level one trauma center in the state. CHI Health President Medicine Kevin Nichols tells KETV the state's reasoning for not designating CHI Health Creighton for trauma is disappointing, and they already corrected the four, quote, minor deficiencies. We're prepared to take, you know, the most critically injured patients that arrive here on any day 24 7, and we'll operate in that capacity just simply without the designation from the state. They'll operate without any trauma patients transported by members of the Midlands Protocol Committee as well. Nebraska Medicine tells us they're ready to treat all trauma candidates and have been since August after years of preparation. Uh, Omaha Fire Omaha Chief Bernie Fire Kanger says the they weren't notified by the state. They found out last night after we broke the story on KETV.com. And while trauma transports will strictly go to Nebraska Med starting Wednesday morning, we will continue to provide transportation to all area hospitals for all of our medical and non-traumatic patients. For CHI Health, steadfast with the thought they should have received the accreditation, the next step is unclear. We are working closely with DHHS to uh, understand and work through to address any of their concerns. We have all the services that we've always had. We've been a trauma center since the 70s and have been designated by the state since 1993. And Nichols says they're also working with DHHS on whether they need to appeal or reapply and reiterates there is no change to the level of trauma service they can and will provide. Back to you. Thanks, Adrian.